Hi everyone, welcome back to Cypress series. Today we are going to learn about uploading a file on the page. So in Cypress version 9.3, there is an introduction of the command which is dot select file. And you can use dot select file to upload the file. Or you can also perform dragging of the files on the page. You can simulate that action using the dot select command. So we have this sample website, which is a practice page by Lambda test. And we can see uh, this page is specifically for the case where we have to upload a file. So we have this button, choose file. And if we click on this button, it asks you to upload a file from your, from your system. Okay. So today we will simulate the same case. We will automate this scenario through our Cypress code. So let's copy the URL from here and let's go back to the, our ID. So I've already created a basic template and now I will pass over here, uh, cy dot visit and then we can pass the URL. So now our next step is to find the locator. So let's find the locator for choose file. So I'm just trying to inspect and see. So I can see this is uh, ID and the file is the name of value of ID. So I will use cy.get and I will pass over a hash ID. So next thing is we have to upload a file. So like I mentioned, we have this inbuilt command, which is dot select file. So you have to pass dot select file. And then inside that you have to pass the file name. So you can pass the path of, of your file, wherever your file is located. So for this demo, I have already created a sample file. So this is my test.pdf and it is actually saved at my root location. So if you see, this is at my root location. So I don't need to pass a path over here. I will directly write over here test.pdf. So it will automatically pick from the root. Okay. So this is how you can upload a file. You can pick your file and then upload directly on the page. So let's write, let's run the code and let's see. So I will execute my file over here and let's see on the page. So you see, we can see file successfully uploaded. So and over here also we can see test.pdf. Okay, so this was one of the case where uh, you have a button on the page and if you click on the button, you can upload your file. Okay, but in some of the cases, we, we also have the scenario where we have this dropping of the file action. So we can simulate that as well using the select file command. So we have a demo website. Let me show you. So there's a website which is this I love PDF. So there is a website which is uh, I love pdf.com. So we can see over here, we have this select PDF file or drop a PDF over here. So in this case, what we will do, we will try to simulate the drop dropping of a file. Fine. So first of all, we will find the locator for this. And then using the dot select file command, we will, we will try to simulate the dropping of action, right? So let's copy the URL and go back to our code. So this is my second test case. I will write over here, dropping of file. And this is my test case two. And then I will create a callback function quickly. Inside that we can write our code. So I have already copied the URL and then I will write over here cy.visit to enter my URL. Okay, so next step is to find the locator for for the button. And uh, sorry, this is a drop. So this is a drop PDF section. So I will find the locator for this one. So let's find the locator. We can see it, it is a class and I'll copy the class name. And let's go to the code. So this is dot because this is a class. So I'm passing dot over here. Okay, so next thing is I'm using dot select file. And in this case, we are trying to simulate the action of dropping a file. So first of all, we will write our file name. So our file name is test.pdf. So test.pdf. And the next thing is we are trying to simulate the action for drag and drop. So I will write over here action and then drag and drop. You have to write like this drag hyphen drop. So by using this action, you can pass by using this object, you can actually simulate the dragging and dropping of the files on the page. Okay, so let's uh, run our code and see if this is uh, working or not. Let's go to the test case and this is my same test case. I will rerun it. And now we should be able to see the test.pdf. It should got, 
it should get uploaded. So we can see the test.pdf, it is uploaded on the page. So this is the test case is passed and it got uploaded successfully on the page. Fine. So yeah, this is how you can upload a file. You can see over here the our locator and then the file name and we can see the action also got performed. Now we have, we are choosing the file from our root location or you can pass the file path also. But let's say you have multiple files and you have put that files in your fixture folder. So in that case, how you can fetch the file? In that case, you have to use cy.fixture and then you have to write the file name. So for the demo purpose, I've already created a file in my fixtures folder. So this is test.pdf and what I will do, I will just uh, rename my test.pdf because we have a same, we have a file with the same name. So test2.pdf I will write over here. Okay. So this is under fixtures folder. In my code, we will write over here test2.pdf. So this is the file name. And then we are using as, which is alias. And over here, I can pass any name. Let me pass PDF. Okay. And inside the select file, instead of using the direct PDF name, direct file name, you can pass the alias over here, which is PDF. So this is pointing to your test2.pdf. Fine. So this will again fetch the same file, but it will fetch from the fixtures folder now. And then it will perform the drag and drop action on the page. So let's run the code and check if this one is also working or not. So first test case is getting uploaded and second file we can see. So we can see over a test2.pdf. So we can actually differentiate earlier it was test.pdf. Now our file name is also changed and we can see on the left side also you can see it is uh, getting fetched from the, so it is taking at the rate pdf which is our alias which we, the file which we fetched from the fixture and then we are performing drop drag and drop action on the page. Yeah. So these are the ways how you can perform uploading a file on the page, how you can upload a file on the page using using dot select file command. So from Cypress version 9.3, you can directly use a command. You don't have to use any third party plugin. Earlier, uh, we used to use this plugin, which is Cypress file upload. But uh, now we can ignore that we can directly use the latest command. And we can also use the files from a fixture folder and we can pass the different files, multiple files over here and then we can upload it. I hope this is helpful for you and you can also share it with your friends, whoever is looking to learn Cypress from scratch. I'm creating videos on this small, small topics, although these are just one line of code like this, but these are very important topics. These are also asked in an interview questions, uh, how to upload a file or how to open the link in a new tab. So you can uh, watch the videos and practice it because until unless you don't practice, you will not, never, you will keep forgetting this one. So it's always a good, it's always a good practice to actually write the code and then learn from it. So I would suggest you to practice the code as well. And uh, if you really like the content, please like and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching.